Hello and welcome to another tropical update from Cayman Hurricane Center and I'm Adam McDoom. This evening we are talking about Invest Area 91L and mentioning also Hurricane Gert and 92L that is also out there in the Atlantic. Uh, main feature of interest however is Invest Area 91L as this area will likely have impacts to land unlike Hurricane Gert which presently out there between Bermuda and the Outer Banks of the Carolinas that would be moving off to the north and northeast out to open sea and Invest 92L which is behind Invest 91 that may or may not have future implications to the uh, Lester Antilles way too early right now to say anything with any confidence on that but in terms of Invest 91L we are uh, becoming increasingly more confident on the situation of this system. So to give you the particulars on Invest Area 91L as of the 00 Zulu update it was located at 14.0 north, 44.5 west, moving west, and uh, pressure is about 10 11 millibars with wind speeds uh, about 30. Uh, this system has the potential to become the next name storm on the list. Uh, that would probably be Frank uh, Harvey. Tropical Storm Harvey and the other one behind that has a decent chance at becoming the next named storm after that, which would be Irma. But uh, Invest 91L will be moving off towards the west and the Lesser Antilles will be the first up to you see the impacts of this system that will be later this week going into the weekend uh, as it travels through the rest of the Caribbean Sea. So just to give you the overall image of how everything is again off on the northwest side of the satellite imagery you see Hurricane Gert they're speeding off to the northeast. Uh, we have again Invest 91L here and Invest 92L behind that. And uh, to just get your bearings here, uh, this is the Lesser Antilles. Here's the Leeward, Windward Islands, Barbados, Trinidad, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, Jamaica, Cuba, Florida, the United States, Yucatan. Central America and South America. So, as you can see, Invest 91 located here, not far off uh, from Barbados, about a thousand miles east of Barbados. And so, this will be its likely first impact area over the next few days. So overall, this is what the National Hurricane Center is looking at. Uh, again, Gert here between Bermuda and the Outer Banks of the Carolinas. Uh, Invest Area 91 here, uh, this farthest west X. And the overall expectation is for it to move west through the Caribbean. Invest 92L up here, the X to the right. Uh, that will continue on a more slightly northerly track, so west-northwest. And again, possible implications with impacts to the northeastern leeward islands. So uh, again, plenty of time to watch. That is still yet a few days to come. Another area of interest off of Africa, a fairly decent tropical wave with a uh, broad area of low pressure which is expected to move off Africa uh, through the evening hours tonight through tomorrow morning and continue on westward south of the Cape Verde Islands and possibly 
uh, pick up in intensity from thereafter. Again, uh, that particular system is yet days away from uh, really developing into anything and impacts is just way too early to uh, know for that particular system. So here's how things look on the surface chart here. Again, our hurricane here, Invest 91, the farthest left X here in the, uh, sorry, low pressure system in the uh, main development region, 92L, the one here to the east, to the west-southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. And then again, here is that low pressure area here associated with what will possibly be in the near future Invest 93L. Again, uh, also here is the Atlantic High Pressure Ridge, which has set up quite nicely and is extending itself uh, through the western, western Atlantic and in towards the Gulf of Mexico, closing off the gap behind GERT as GERT moves out. So again, uh, the track for our Invest 91 much more further to the west rather than, say, missing the Caribbean. That's definitely going to be a Caribbean cruiser. Uh, so here is how the vorticity, the low-level vorticity of this system, of these systems, should I say, uh, are. And basically, when we talk about the vorticity, we kind of think of them as like the X-ray of systems. We get to see the inside of systems, see how the spin is, how organized, how disorganized, how strong, whatever, if it's... Or if it's um, merged with anything like the monsoon trough or whatever, you could get the idea on the vorticity graphic. So here we are. Uh, this obviously sticking out like a sore thumb is uh, GERT, Hurricane GERT, uh, very tightly rounded vorticity, very strong. And that, again, should move out the way. Here is Invest 91L. The vorticity is increasing. It's becoming uh, more rounded. It's definitely getting itself uh, together. This to the east, our Invest 92, also getting its act together as well. Uh, in terms of how conditions in and around the system and going in, uh, it, into the future here, what we could be expecting. Well, there's been a lot of chatter about how the upper level winds may or may not affect uh, these systems. So let's have a look here. Uh, over our Invest 91L, we do have ourselves a very decent upper level anticyclone. And the upper level anticyclone will be there to protect the system from any uh, high-level sharing and uh, the counterclockwise motion provides that outflow for this system as it continues to develop. And a little bit off to the west of that, there's also another uh, anticyclone uh, here just east of Barbados that will also continue to move in tandem with the other upper level anticyclone and the system. And this here, as you see in red, is this wall of shear. And that has actually been moving off towards the west and sort of out of the way as these two areas kind of build in and give that protective barrier for uh, our invest area. So shear, even though there's a bit of a wall of shear along here, it is moving out of the way. It is not really expected to be too much of an issue. You may have a little bit of a increase in the shear um, in the Eastern Caribbean, but uh, again, uh, with this upper level anticyclone, it's protecting the system and we'll be keeping an eye on it. You know, the more developed this get, the more it aligns itself with the system, will help out this system uh, to develop it further. So, 
where we'll be keeping a very close eye on that there as well. There is also an up-level anticyclone associated with 92L. However, um, that is sort of expected to um, dislocate itself from uh, the main system. And uh, there's still a chance that that could develop. But uh, as that, again, moves on a more northerly track, more west-northwest, it will be running into that wall of higher shear. May, again, pick back up by the time it probably reaches around this area. But again, way far out in time. We'll have to see how things go when we do get there. Uh, here is the... Again, the overall steering flow, um, as I mentioned on the surface chart, this is the uh, steering flow graphic, and this basically um, gives you another way of looking at how things are going to be moving around. So again, our Atlantic high pressure ridge here and extending all the way uh, from the northeastern Atlantic all the way into the Gulf of Mexico. And again, the general track for our Invest 91L should pretty much be off towards the west uh, into the Caribbean, maybe heading to more west-northwest once it gets towards the central Caribbean. And um, and I, I got to tell you, I have some concerns about this. Uh, I'll bring up the forecast models and show you what's expected in terms of track, but... Um, the thing I'm worried about here is, as you can see here, ocean heat content in the Caribbean Basin. It's quite warm. It's quite high. Uh, with the added sea surface temperature and the ocean heat content, it's definitely high enough to support a fairly decent hurricane, even as much so the areas here in the Western Caribbean and uh, parts of the West Central Caribbean. So basically from Haiti uh, through Jamaica westwards towards the Yucatan and Cuba, this area of high ocean heat content is high enough to support uh, major hurricane status if system was to get there and thus have favorable conditions to do so. And um, Looking at the intensity guidance as well as the track guidance for the system, there is that possibility um, that we could be looking at a fairly decent system in the Caribbean, providing that conditions are right. So let's take a quick look at that uh, track forecast here. So these are the forecast model runs on Invest 91L. And again, uh, generally, continuing off towards the west as it heads towards Barbados, eventually crossing the northern Windward Islands, uh, likely areas to be impacted from uh, there would be islands such as um, St. Lucia, Martinique, uh, Dominica, probably uh, might be, well, this probably might stay slightly a bit further south of there. But again, Barbados, St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica are really the areas to keep an eye on. And it, if this thing does indeed intensify to a tropical storm or even a mid to strong range tropical storm by the time it reaches this area, you know, again, north and eastern side of the system Technically, usually the strongest bit, so probably uh, some of these southern uh, leeward islands may get itself impacted by uh, the system. Um, but anyway, uh, after that, getting into the Caribbean in general, sort of west to west-northwest track, and we'll likely stay south of Puerto Rico, stay south of Hispan, um, but then... There is, in the way, Jamaica, uh, the Cayman Islands, and then further on towards the Yucatan. And I've been watching the forecast guidance for the system for a good while now. And um, originally, the guidance had it sort of northeast Caribbean and maybe Bahamas. And then over time, it just continued to switch further and further south and west. 
and then within the past uh, within the past day or uh, yeah about the past day or so the models have been kind of bouncing a little bit going uh, south and west north and west south and west north and west but they're a little slight nudges they're not like the larger shifts south and west that we've uh, seen in the past so it come so it makes me think that okay the models are starting to get a better handle. They're starting to figure out, okay, this thing will probably do as such. So it probably will stay as a Caribbean system. And to narrow down the areas that would probably be impacted again uh, in the immediate term, um, it would be the uh, Windward Islands, maybe portions of the Southern Leeward Islands, and then Central Caribbean uh Jamaica, then onwards, Western Caribbean, anywhere, Cayman Islands. It could, if it stays relatively weak and stays farther south, then we could be talking about uh, maybe the outer ends getting to northern Honduras. Maybe again, we could be looking at Belize, but again, the guidance to. Uh, are agreeing on a much more farther north track that's uh, taking it pretty close to Jamaica. If you could see here, the white line here, that's our consensus track. So it basically takes all these models and uh, put it together and uh, throw in your center line. So again, uh, that gets pretty close to Jamaica, almost in a way of skimming the south coast of Jamaica. And then continuing on, um, probably ending up somewhere within the Cayman Basin before continuing on into the Yucatan Channel or on to the Yucatan Peninsula. But again, that's uh, going seven, eight days maybe, but coming up uh, should be entering or nearing the Eastern Caribbean, say about Friday or so. And then we're looking at uh, getting itself located near uh, Jamaica or Haiti, just south of Jamaica, somewhere within this area. Uh, uh, being by early next week. So, again, with the Eastern Caribbean first to be impacted, you guys there should. Keep a close eye on this system, and uh, maybe uh, start getting yourselves prepared. You know, um, you don't want to get yourself caught off guard. Uh, you do remember at times uh, we've already seen this year some of these systems that um, technically hold off on intensification or development to a tropical storm or anything till it gets pretty close to the islands, and then boom, uh, it becomes that. And you don't want to be caught off guard. Uh, if that does happen, it there's a 50-50 chance that that could or that couldn't happen. Uh, thinking that we could be seeing this as a possibly picking up as a tropical storm or at least depression uh, fairly further out uh, east of Barbados, probably around 55 west um, before going there. So you'll have a bit of uh, time to know exactly where and how strong and how much you would need to prepare. Anyway, uh, that is pretty much this for uh, this particular system, Invest 91. I'll be back a little bit later and we'll probably have a bit more of a better discussion with uh, the other areas of interest. But again, um, 91L, the main focus of interest for the time being, as it is the main threat to the Caribbean. Well, that's it from me, Adam McDoom for Cayman Hurricane Center Tropical Update. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>